what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Ninja here, and welcome back guys to a brand new Ninjago review here on the channel today. Now before I start up with this Ninjago review guys, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure you guys go down below and hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit this video to 5 likes, if you can do that, that would be amazing. Also guys, if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to 3,000 subscribers by June 12, 2024. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be amazing. That would really help my channel a lot. So, yeah. Also, guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also, share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below. Go subscribe to my two other channels. Link is in the description down below. So in our last Fetcher Tales review, I reviewed you guys the Antenna Station, the uh, Secret Agent episode, the one with when Lloyd and Arrow went to that hometown area or whatever this so yeah. But today guys, I'll be reviewing you guys the 18th episode of Dragon Rising, that is Absolute Power. So, here we go. So we begin with, of course, Lord Ross. Look. We continue on with a flashback scene. And then of course you have of course the, all of these of course you have of course these characters and all of that. And you got Lord Ross the uh, running around all over Imperial saying like I am Lord Ross from the wilderness of uh, from the wilderness. The the Emperor is the Emperor is expecting me. So they talked about how uh, Lord Ross idea of keeping uh, Imperium alive is to use source dragons, but the but the key is like but the key is like uh, No, we are not going to do that We are not going to do that. Why are we not going to do that because We are we want to make peace uh, with the world. We want to make peace with the world So that's what I've been going on is of course we really we really, we really want a peace within the world And all of that so uh, and all of that. And yeah. So the interesting thing is. The Emperor does not really want to have any tricks though. Inside of Imperial. So what's going to be happening is. What he happened is. He asked his daughter Seatrix. Not Beatrix. But Seatrix. Where she has this powers. Which we all believe that she might have the powers. Of what Sora's powers are. Technology. And all of that. The interesting thing about this is uh, you have Lord Ross say like, and then look, and then the, the, it's just the key was it the happy. That's it, uh, and all of that. Uh, you know, this is a yeah. And then he left, and all of that. And then Beatrix got so angry, uh, and all of that. And that's what the theme song plays, uh, which I still don't really like that much. But yeah. So you got Beatrix being like this takes place like I don't know how long this takes place, bro, but it comes takes place like maybe a couple power a couple of years later or something like that. And then you have of course Beatrix is like Beatrix would do a total tower video about how Imperium is a safe place and it's an amazing place and all of that. So yeah. And that's why they do that in order to how she loves the people here, loves the children here and all of that, which is so weird, but yeah, because she used a green screen for people, but yeah. And then uh, Drama came in and said that, oh, 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 excellent, excellent, and all of that. And that's when Wapton came in with the fake Emirate. No, no, I mean the fake Dragon Cora, which we did, which she doesn't know about it. Even he doesn't know about it either. So, uh, Raptor's like, oh, I will never fail you. I know we weren't gonna fail you again, Empress. But I got some bad news. I, and he said, I got some bad news. Um, I believe the ninja are right now coming to get those dragon cars. And then the Beatrix is like, then they come and we got a job for them. And then we head to call Sora and Nia, which they talked about, uh, um, how. Dragon go do drag do it go to uh, go into Imperium with the dragons are not a good idea. So so I thought about an idea of uh, doing this because Nia and them are trying to figure out how to get into Imperium because they can't go through dragons, and she said uh, and so I said maybe we can't but I have an idea. 
Why not I could use some of this uh, armor to do for Chua, right? Because Chua is one of the strongest names in our character. So why not we try to do something like that in our character? So, Leo said to Sora, this is a good idea in our character. But, Cole, but Leo said, come on, Cole, we gotta get out of here. But she said, uh, but he said uh, something about that. And Leo said, come on, Cole, we don't have, we're not, we don't have a lot of time here. We have to win. And uh, Cole said, well, we can't. I, uh, we can't go. He said that it's going all over the place. And then Leo said, what do you mean? Cole said, remember, so remember like uh, uh, two episodes ago when Cole said that he heard screaming to the ground? He heard Master Rua. And Leo said, you probably hear about Master Rua. When I was in the Cloud Kingdom, when I was in the Cloud Kingdom, it led me to Kai and all of that. So that's why Cole needs to go out in the future to go find an old friend. Do you remember what Cole said? Uh, do you remember what Cole said uh, in Season 8 of Ninjago? If you guys remember that far, he said uh, that I will look for you. Wu, Master Wu. I will work for you, Setsu Wu. I will work, and I will work for you. So Cole is the reason why he's going to go work in the, he's going to go find an old friend. He's going to be the one that go find him. Similar to season 8, but yeah. And of course said, go start the earthquakes. Uh, my journey, I have a new journey to go to. That's why we never see Cole in the finale, because he was working for Master Wu. And so yeah, so Leo said goodbye to Cole and all of that, give him a give him a hug and all of that. So yeah, that's what happened. So yeah. And that's when Leo and Sora left. So yeah. So you have Cole going through the wilderness and all of that. And then you head to uh, Imperium, which you see of course um you see, of course, so you see, of course, Dr. Lawar, Dorama, Chordana. I think that's her name, Chordana, Chordana, Chordana. I think that's her name. And then you have, of course, Beatrix. If the Emperor is coming up, put it together, all three dragon code together. Well, they see that the Destiny's Bounty, the ninjas are coming and all of that. And if you didn't notice, uh, she said, I will get you this time, ninja. And she didn't notice the, that uh, one, there was one problem. There was one uh, of the, this one of the um, Dragon Cross that was fake. Lord and Erwin got the real, Lord and Erwin got the real one. And uh, uh, Raptor got the other one, which here's the interesting thing. Raptor went away because he doesn't want to work for the Beatrix. He wants to be, he realized that he got his own redemption. So Raptor got his own redemption. Raptor got his own redemption, which I really like that a lot. Which we didn't see that until later on, which I'm going to talk about that later on uh, next week. So, yeah. And the whole town shield of Imperium got this has been taken turned off. So they turn they turn off uh, they turn off uh, the when the whole town laser shoot it uh, it break through the whole town shield barricaded. Uh, so they disabled the shield uh, and yeah. So when the place was exploded, when the whole town lab got destroyed in Imperium. You have, of course, uh, and then, of course, Beatrix is like, what do you, why did it, did it work? We can't, you said we can't get a test. Now nah, I'm so disappointed in you. Uh, you did, uh, that's why you did terrible, and, uh, and yeah. And then, uh, Duwama, Duwama, Duwama was like, oh, we're gonna work perfectly. Why the Raptor, Raptor, so they do that, and yeah. So, and the raptor was gone, you know, and then you have, of course, the rest of the ninja, like, uh, Ralpha was like, oh, I see an explosion, you know what's going on, you know, that. so Lloyd needs to figure out a plan how to get into Imperium, yeah. So, uh, of course, uh, they're trying to figure out, because how they're, how they're going to get in there if the 
supposed to be on the top, uh, and there's no way to get in. There's no way to get in there. And all of that. So the interesting thing that, that happened is Beatrix was so mad that he went that she went to Lord Ross. Uh, and we have a course of past scene. I say, hey, uh, what should I be saying? Are you uh, Beatrix? And Beatrix said, no, I am not my hated twin sister. I am Beatrix. So yeah, that's why Beatrix and Lord Ross have been working together for many years and all of that. So, this is when things get interesting. In the flashback scene, he talked about how uh, Beatrix does not... It says that... Uh, and then Beatrix is say, You know, I cannot be out here. Uh, you know, I can't be out here talking to you. So make it click. Uh, and she talked about how... Oh, my father said that she... My father said that he doesn't really like the unlimited power. But I do. But I am... And, oh, it does. So, Lord Ross said, hmm, okay. And then Beatrix is saying, like, uh, I do not like my uh, twin sister. She has powers. I do not. I really wanted to be the Emperor, but they're going to make her the Empress. Uh, and all that, the Empress. Uh, and all that. So, she, so that's why, uh, yeah. It's just in general because she talked about how uh, Beatrix, Beatrix was Bert's mid minutes, a few minutes before her did, and all that. And then, and all her, cause her pop father was like, she, like, he loves her Beatrix than Beatrix, and all that. And that's how Lord Ross said, You were betrayed your father, the Emperor. It's just a general, uh, Beatrix doesn't really like her sister or her father in general. She wants to be the Empress, and of course her father doesn't like her. So yeah, so that's why they're gonna work together and all of that. that. So that's why they're going to put Beatrix is gonna portray her father and work for Lord Ross to get unlimited power, and that's when uh, what happened. Okay, uh, this is when things get really dark. This is where things get very dark. You have, of course, the Emperor of uh, Imperium get up there, and he got exploded uh, and got killed and all that. And then Lord Ross captured the uh, Seatrix, and that's how Beatrix became... And then, of course, when she saw her father got killed, guess what? She just smiled uh, because she wants to be the Empress of uh, the Finny. So that's why she became the bad guy of the season. Uh. And yeah, that's where we get a little bit more of her story, how she became a bad guy. So, oh, and that. So, it's interesting to think about. Okay, Lord Ross told her that it was, I was the one that put you on that throne. I helped you both get on that throne. And then, uh, free me and we can stop the ninja together. Then you will have absolute power. That's literally what the title is called, so yeah. And then you head back to the ninja. And all of that. So Kai figured out a way how to get in there. So he told, so he told the wildfire, hey. So wildfire said, why are you smiling like that? And Kai said to wildfire, hey, uh, do you remember those? So you remember when I talked to you about the peace and all of that? And she said, yeah. Kai said, I want you to forget all about it. And she said, what do you mean? What, what, what do you want me to do then? And he said, Time for you to go wild. And she loves it, and then she goes super wild. That's what she called. That's what she's called. Wild for fire. Wild for Wild for I love that, but yeah. But that's the interesting thing to think about. Is that is when, that's when anything gets done. And that's how, uh, that, how it happened. So, yeah. So Wildfire went so wild that Wildfire went so wild that uh, she goes so crazy that the uh, the goons uh, the the Empress uh, goons that the whole entire city was like, hey, uh, is that a dragon we see and all that? And then they find out that it's a female. So like, oh, uh, have you seen like a dragon like uh, and all that? Uh, said that the dragon. So that's why she said, ah, oh, nothing. Uh, eat fire! <laughs> and that's where the ninjas went to attack with them as well. 
And I was just saying, yeah, very funny. It's funny, and I like it. Okay, well, okay, of course, you have, of course, the ninja that's still talking and all that. And then afterwards, you have, of course, um, be... And then, of course, of course, they'll go through the door, and then one of the girls can be you, and put the hand in there, and says... And then everyone said, thank you for your kind, thank you so much. And then when the uh, uh, girl says, you're very welcome. And then you head back to Lord Ross and Beatrix, how Lord Ross say, you can be invincible. And all of them talk about, like, you need me, and you need, uh, you are, like, with me on your side, that can help you. And all of he just talk about that, and then Beatrix said, like, I don't need you. You are such a fraud. Powerless, failure, and all of that. She doesn't need anybody. She doesn't need anybody. She can do all of this by herself. Because all of them betray her. And that's the, and of course, that's the, and all of that. So that's why Lord Ross stays in the prison cells. And yeah. So, of course, after that, uh, one of the guards says, Hey, uh, something goes through the, uh, we see, we hear, we said something that had to do with the gate or something like that. And Beatrix say, It's the ninja. <sighs> and she went very angry on that. And then you have, find them. We need to find him. And then, uh, you have the ninjas in like the, it's just like an alleyway, way, something like that. And then Ralph will say, what? Are you sure we're going the right way? And then they went f- straight because we had to figure out. Lloyd said we are, we gotta figure out where that explosion came from, and then that's where that the goons are. The, the guards come here and say, "Hey, you freeze!" And that's when uh, they need to do something. And that's when da 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 da. The Imperial Team Protection Force uh, came up and uh, helped them out and all of that. So. And, uh, all of that. So, yeah. So now, that's not what their team is called now. They are now called, uh, um, the Imperial Teen Resistance Force now. And they're gonna find a way to protect them and find a way to get into there and get the Dragon Coast. Uh, and yeah. They didn't figure out a plan first. So they talked about the resistant team now, the, the, the whole entire Imperial Protector resistant team. Uh, they uh, talked about how, what are you guys doing in the Imperium? We saw you put, take the dragon, what are you doing back in Beatrix? Are you back to stop uh, the Empress? Because we got a plan now. And Lloyd said, no, uh, we are actually working for the Dragon Coast. Do you know what they are? And he said, yes. And the, something like the Sister Lapper. The resistant uh, lava, and they said, You are not gonna get in now. So, we gotta find a way to get in. So, we need to go someplace safe to fix to do all of that. So, yeah, and that's what happened. So, yeah, okay. Uh, you hear back to the lab talking about how, uh, talk about how, uh, they had to clean up and all of that. And the Beatrix came in here and said, Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, uh, you see that, um. We got, oh, uh, we got everything back to normal and waited to get to protest again, as you say. I don't care about your weapon. I'm worried about my weapon. And then uh, Dr. The World talked about how, uh, one of the Dragon Cards is a counterfeit. And it's a fake. The one that robbed to bring was a fake. So that gives us uh, proof uh, that he got her the fake one because he knows that he doesn't want to work for Beatrix anymore. So that's why, uh, Raptor, because if you guys don't know, guys, I believe Raptor got his redemption out in the last episode. I do believe so because he kind of got, I don't really know, but yeah. And then Beatrix say, Raptor? Where was that line, Raptor? And then, uh, do Raptor said, We haven't seen him ever since, we haven't seen him ever since the, uh, uh, the whole entire, the whole entire explosion happened, so yeah. And then she said, uh, and then she said, I need my weapon now. She said, uh, oh, without the second, without the, without all three dragon cards, it would not work. It's impossible. Beatrix said, impossible? Do you know we literally have a, tr- do you guys, do you know that we have a such dragon in Imperium? Why do we use it? And then she said something like, she said something about, 
we can't do it. Oh, we're going to overpower it or that. And it, it doesn't work because if we do that, it can overpower the whole entire system. And that's why she is not going to do it. Be a, that's why Dr. LaRoe is not going to do it. So that's why she followed her and have to and have uh, Diana. I think that's her name, Diana. I think that's her dude. I don't remember. So Dana is her name. That's not dear Diana. It's so Dana. So Dana's like, I can do it. I have heard about the Source Dragons. I can do what you want. Because Jordana wants to become a bad guy to work for the Empress. So that's what was going on in order to see yeah. And that's how the episode ends. And yeah. I think Absolute Power is good. It is Beatrix episode. Epi anyway, you know what that. It was a good episode and all of that. I really enjoyed it. So yeah. See so, ya. Yeah. Stay tuned guys because I'm... Tuesday, the 27th, on February 27th, I will be reviewing you guys the second to last episode of Season 1 of Dragon Rising, Season 1, and that is Oh, We All Are Dragons. That will be the next episode I'll be reviewing you guys on, so on next Tuesday, this upcoming is next Tuesday, Tuesday, so yeah. I hope you guys do enjoy this the jungle the jungle with you. If you guys have, then hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit this video to five likes. If we could do that, that would be amazing. Also, if this is the first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to two thousand to three thousand subscribers by June 12, twenty twenty four. So if you guys can help me out on this channel, that would be amazing. That would really help my channel a lot. Also, guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also, share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my two other channels. I need your help on my main, on my gaming channel. I'm trying to get my gaming channel to 500 subscribers by the end, by, by sometime next month in March. So, if you guys can go down below and subscribe to my gaming channel, that would be amazing. That would help my channel a lot, so yeah. And also, guys, make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my Christian channel. I need your help on my Christian channel. I'm trying to get my Christian channel to 3,000 subscribers by the middle to middle to middle slash end of March. The middle or the end of March. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be amazing. So yeah, it also says so yeah. Stay tuned guys because the next one is We Are Our Dragons. Don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button to join the Ninja Nation Army. And stick around, go check out my other videos. And I will see my Ninja fans next time. Peace.